Shimai. Today we're having a look at this lovely little, um, very common plant that appears in the lawns and all, well, in fact, woods, hedges, roadsides, grasses, lawns, and it's Speedwell. Now, in Welsh, it's Llesiae Llewellyn, um, and there's loads of different types of Speedwell. There's nearly 24 species of Speedwell in the British Isles, but half are rare or uncommon. Um, probably the most common is, is Veronica persica, which is the common or field Speedwell, but you also have Slender Speedwell and Germanda Speedwell, and, and other ones that you may well have heard of. It's also called the bird's eye or cat's eye, and that's down to these gorgeous little blue flowers that we'll have a look at a bit later. Now, like I say, it's extremely common. You find it everywhere. And sadly, it can be considered a bit of a nuisance or a weed in people's lawns. Um, it's, it's not likely to be native, but actually it's become so naturalised now that, um, that it, it is everywhere. I mean, it is considered to be a British plant, I suppose. Um, and it's a sprawling, hairy and branched plant that creeps along the ground. And you, just even in this little section here, you can see how it sort of has spread through the grass. Um, and it appears in these beautiful bright clumps of, of bright bluey, purpley, whitish flowers. They're really striking, although they're very tiny. So the leaves of this particular speedwell here, um, they, they're quite broad, I suppose, even though everything's small and they're ovate. So you can see there's sort of an overly kind of shape and you can distinguish it between the actual speedwell and the grass here. Um, and they're very short stalked. I don't know if you can see, they're very short on those stalks there. And they're usually in opposite pairs and you can just see them there. They're not side by side. So there's one there, then up there, then up there, then up there. So they come sort of zigzag up, I guess. Um, and they're often hairy. Now, these are so tiny, you can barely see the hairs on them. Um, but it's the flowers that I absolutely love. And they are, this little cluster here, it's it's actually a bit late in the in the, evening really and they're starting to close up a little bit but the flowers are about 8 to 12 millimeters across and they are this beautiful purpley bluey um, and actually you can see even bits of white on them and things um, and they're solitary so that means that you can see there's one flower on there and then there'll be another flower coming down there later um, and they're on these stalks oops that one's dropped off now you can just see on there on these stalks that are around about actually they can be five to thirty millimeters long um, and away from the leaf by there and these will flower all year long but less frequently in the winter in fact I, I don't often see them in the winter now because of the way this spreads it can actually be seen as a bit of a nuisance or a weed in lawns um, but actually it's really lovely to see and it's a great source of nectar, especially for solitary bees. Now, these speed wells have often been seen as a good luck charm for travellers to speed you well on your way. And I guess that's where the name comes from, the speed well, to, to push you on your way when you're on your, on your travels. Now, the law says that, um, as in folklore and mythology, is that it's effective against spells, against witches' spells, but it's also all, um, always been associated with vision, um, having magical powers to allow people to see fairies. Um, and actually, with this idea that it's good for, for vision, it said that it could heal your eyes, whether it was a medical issue or caused by witchcraft. Um, I'm not sure if it's still used in, in modern medicine, but that's, uh, that's kind of where it comes from. So there we go, Speedwell. Um, it is tiny. I'm not entirely sure you can get the best effect from, from this camera and from this video, but actually I hope it's given you enough to, to just go out and find it yourself. It is common, you will find it, I'm sure of it, if you have a good look. And once again, it's like I always say, get down, get close, and, and you can really sort of start to pick out the detail. And, and these little flowers, they are tiny, but wow, they are beautiful. So there we go, Speedwell. Hope you can find it and, uh, and good luck.